Hey guys, welcome back to another Premiere Pro CC tutorial. I'm your host, Gilly Gill. Today we're gonna dive so deep into the exciting world of multi-camera sequences. Okay, you set up two cameras for an interview shot. One's getting a nice tight and the other one's got a super wide. You got great sound coming into one camera and you wanna make a cool multi-camera sequence so you can bounce back and forth between camera A and camera B. It just looks really, really good, and having a two-camera setup definitely gives you more flexibility as far as editing something like an interview. Here's how you do a multi-camera sequence. Okay, so we've imported our footage and we have two clips from two different cameras, both recording at the same time. My strongest advice to you is when you know you're gonna be trying to synchronize clips in your editing process, you're gonna wanna do something called a clap sync. Basically, a clap sync is going to be you clapping in front of the camera to create these sharp audio spikes that you can use in post-production. This way, all you have to do is look for those spikes when you want to synchronize your clips. But luckily, the program is smart enough to do that for us. This is a forward shot of our interview subject, and then we have this side shot that's actually on uh, the Rhino slider, so we've got motion sliding back and forth. It looks really, really good, right? To create our multi-camera sequence, we're just gonna select both of those shots by holding shift and clicking the last shot. We will right click right here near the icon and choose create multi-camera source sequence. We're greeted with this dialog box to make a lot of different decisions that really it's super simple if you understand how everything's working. Since we've created a clap sync, we know that there are spots in the audio that the program can use to synchronize these two clips. Otherwise, if you went into these clips and manually selected endpoints that line up with each other in both shots, you could choose endpoints or you could choose the outpoints. If you have the time code set right between both cameras, you could set them based on time code or or sound time code. All of these options work, but we can use audio because we know we have some audio in there to help the program synchronize these clips. Now with audio, we can choose a couple of things, channel one, two, or mix them both down. I like to use mix down so that we have some options when we get to the timeline. Sequence preset will be set to automatic. Offset audio by zero video frames is fine. Down in the sequence settings, we can choose the audio to remain with camera one, all cameras, or we can switch the audio when we switch the active angle of our multicam clip. So basically, like this setup right here, I have a microphone that I'm talking to when I'm facing camera, and then when I'm on the computer, I use you know this nicer mic that you probably hear me better. So when we switch camera angles between a screen recording and this, we want the audio to follow those angles, in which case we would choose switch audio. But let's say for the instance of this interview, we shot with only a single lavalier microphone, but we only have an audio reference track so that we can use to synchronize these clips. In that case, we would choose camera one. We only have good audio coming from the one camera source. So that's the audio that we wanna keep throughout the whole entire interview. All right. So we're gonna choose camera one so we can keep that good, crispy, clean audio, and we'll leave the camera names at enumerate cameras. Now Premiere's gonna go ahead and process these clips, put them into a folder called process clips, and now we have this multi-camera clip, which you can tell is a multi-camera clip by its icon. We can double click this icon, and we're gonna open up that multi-camera clip in our source monitor. Now since there's more than one camera angle, we can see both of those at once, but we have to go to this little wrench right here, and change it from composite video to multi-camera. Or you can set yourself up a nice little shortcut. You can use this toggle multi-camera view button. And if you don't see it in your player controls, just hit the plus sign, go up here in the button editor, click and drag it down into your toolbar and hit okay. This way you can easily toggle between seeing just the one active camera or you can choose both cameras at once. So now we have this multi-camera clip in our source monitor and you can edit this just like it was a regular clip. Let's say we want this part, we're gonna just select our endpoint, select our outpoint, and whichever camera is selected up here will be what shows up when we click and drop it down into our timeline. Now, here's where things get really fun and interesting. Let me go ahead and add a longer version of this clip so it's quite big and it'll take up a lot of space in our timeline. Make sure that also in the program monitor, you have your toggle multi-camera view so you can see your main output and then you have these two camera angles beside it. So here's where things get really, really fun. Now that we can see all of our available camera angles and what the output is going to be within the program,
program monitor, we can play this clip back in the timeline and dynamically change between cameras while it's playing back. So let's just hit playback right now. We are on camera one. And if we just clip on camera two, let it play for a second, go back to camera one and stop playback. You'll notice in the timeline where we clicked those camera angles, Premiere has made a cut for us. So now if we play that back, it's automatically changing from camera one to camera two. Sweet, right? So that is a super easy way to let Adobe Premiere do all the heavy lifting and synchronize your multi-camera clips. And we can dynamically change what is the active camera angle as we watch it play back live. But let's say we don't like where those cuts are. So let's say instead of starting off on this side shot, we can change it directly to our front facing camera. So just select that clip, go up into the program monitor and click that camera too. And it will automatically change that whole clip for us. Let's say we wanted to change the timing of when that change in cameras occurs. All we have to do is hold control or command and click on where that cut was made. And we can just exchange its change in time just like that. All right, so I wanna see you guys creating some really cool multi-camera setups. You can do somewhere up to 16 cameras, I believe, which is a lot. You better have a strong computer if you're trying to do 16 active cameras. Like your computer better be, that, that, that's a lot. <laughs> that's pretty much it on this one, guys. If you found this to be helpful, smash the like button. It does help a lot. Subscribe if you aren't with notifications on, and I'll see you on the next one.